Oh, that sneeze like injured my throat. Is herpes contagious? Uh, no, I don't think so. You get it from Bree. What? Did you really ask me that? I'm saying like if you had it, could I get it or no? You would have to have sex. So it's skin to skin. Skin to skin. Everyone accused me of having herpes. I'm like, I don't even know how you get herpes. Like. Then you probably have it. You probably do have herpes. But like me, who has a life of luxury. Now, before I continue, we have to backtrack. I believe that there are three things that Trisha found out what she can bring up to get a reaction out of Ethan. Get it? How about OnlyFans? My, what? You gonna start an OnlyFans? No. I thought you were going to. Oh, for like a joke? No, for like real, you should try. See how much money you make. You're all about money. Like as soon as TikTok, you heard you can make money. You're like, I'm on TikTok now. What? I make like five dollars a day. I know you're all about the money, and not just because you're a Jewish. It's because you're a just. Jew. <laughs> That's not true. I, I'm really not all about the money. Why do you say that? I know this. Based on. Based on everything that I've heard about you, that I know about you, you heard about me you're from money what? Driven, and that's why. I'm that's okay. just not true. It's not true that I'm money driven. It's First of all, I resent you saying that I'm money driven because oh. I really don't think I am. You really are. <clears throat> I think I'm money driven as much as anybody else, but I don't think I'm extraordinarily money driven. No, you you are. You weren't on TikTok until you realized you can make money off of it. Like and let me tell now. you this: if I'm money driven, why the fuck would I care about making five dollars a day? Moses said the the day he was over here, you're like, I made twenty dollars. It's a joke. Was it though to your family? You just sit around and joke because when I was here, you were not just sitting around and joking. You were very serious. What is twenty dollars? I mean, what is you that life changing money? It. I'm ex you on imagine being like, hey guys, look, I made twenty bucks on TikTok. He's a money driven, greedy Jew. Because. <laughs> It's basically what you're saying. Didn't say that. You gotta get it. It's outrageous. Like you can't say shit like that. I know. And even when you were joking about starting OnlyFans, you're like, I'm gonna do it as a joke and see how much money I get. But you're gonna well, get that I cash grab. I don't, I don't like that that characterization because people always say that. Like, I'll do this. I feel like people make that characterization against me because I'm Jewish. Let me explain. If you compare me to any other creator, I'm just as money driven as any of them. But for some reason, I get this label as like money driven and greedy and all this, even though I'm doing literally the same thing as everybody else. No, so but why is it that I have to take that label? Because you try and be like sneaky about it. You try and be like schlubby. Like, I don't care about money. Meanwhile, just getting in where all the cash grabs are. OnlyFans, TikTok. I'm not on OnlyFans. But you wanted to as like a joke, but you wanted to get in I and get that cash grab. Oh, our waiter told us Tourette's TikTok is a big thing right now. I forgot to tell you. you I'm not. It. I'm not what? participating in that. It's people trying to finish a sentence and they can't do but it. But that's not. I don't have that issue. But just maybe something with your hand. Just put it on TikTok. Okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> Try and maybe write something and see if you can write a word down without doing that. Come on, I'm not like a fucking like paraplegic. You know, he's happy about. But I like that you changed the title. So at first, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> <clears throat> trying to spread COVID everywhere. No, I'm kidding. I don't have COVID. It's just my cough. Normalize so first, Tourette's. How about that? Let's normalize Tourette's. 20 that wasn't a Tourette's tip. Oh, what is that? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I was just coughing. That's not coughing. That's like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's meant to be ridiculous. Okay. I'll cut it off to Tourette's. It's kind of like your Prozac. It's like it was the Tourette's. Officer, it was the Tourette's. I love having a friend with Tourette's because now I can like have a soapbox or something. Like normalize Tourette's. Oh, thank you. I co-host. You a could soapbox for my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna be like all my TikToks will be about you should do that. All your TikToks should be about having Tourette's and like you know mine's all about being a fat girl. You should be like oh here's me. With you want my entire identity to revolve around having Tourette's? That's what you gotta do in this time. I've been fine this so far. On social media, you gotta like go for a thing that people will feel sorry for you for. Most people don't know I have it. They just think I'm a weirdo, and I'm happy with that because I don't want my whole existence to be defined <laughs> by the guy with Tourette's. Saying like all the guests you get, mm -hmm. you, they're not. Bill Burr is not coming on. Bo Burnham's not coming on. Chris Elia is not coming on. You know what I'm saying? You're getting people that no one knows. Oh, Jack's films again. Great, good job, good guest. Just to get Jack's all your friends. I Dubs. Wow, good job. You know what I mean? I'm not, like, I don't need to defend the, our guest track record, but I feel like we've had some bangers lately. Have you though? Sure. Okay. Well, let's you look that up. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Whitney Cummings was just posted when you came on. Is she acceptable to you? Yeah, Whitney's fine. Okay. Good job having a girl on. Today. That's the other thing. You're very misogynistic. And you'll Tom have Segura and Chris, 
Christina no P. No idea who they are. How many Christina views Christina P. No idea. How many views? Andrew Santino. I don't think people know who these people are, but hey. Famous comedians. Cool. Don't know any of them. Um, Steve-O. Mm, also misogynistic, but okay, keep going. Bobby Lee. Mm. And Kalila, another female. Mm-hmm. We've got some really good guests coming up, too. Here, I'll wow. promo them right now. Okay, promo that. I hope it gets some, some more views to the H3 podcast. Oh, you know, I... Here, just for you, I'm going to premiere. I'm just going to give this away for you right now. Belle Delphine is going to be on in the 29th. Whoa. Holy shit. How'd you get her? Exactly. Whoa. <laughs> so fucking eat out my asshole. Because unboxing her stuff is real great. You can even get a million views eat on up, that. Eat so out my time. asshole. It doesn't even have toilet paper in it. Oh, okay. So you got Belle Delphine when you unbox stuff. No one even cared. It didn't even get a million views. So wow, big guess. Dead. Yeah, that's dead and done. It ruins the experiment. You're like an anti-simp for me. I'm just trying to figure out simp. So you're like, a, you're not a simp for me, right? Because I'm not an anti-simp. I'm your friend. An anti-simp would be someone who's like, I hate that person. You said that on the Steve-O podcast. You said you considered us friends. And I always say we're not friends. Because like people are like, are you friends? I'm like, no, because we don't like, I couldn't you call you. You don't consider us friends? No, because like I consider a friend someone you call. And, okay, like, what do you consider something. me? Um, Like, like co-workers. We're yeah. co-workers. Okay, whatever. No, care. but we are because you make me money. And like, you know what I mean? You're kind of like, it's like. <laughs> boss kind of i'm your boss because you like nice. control the money you're like you're gonna get 45 percent and none of the highlights and i'm gonna pay you when i want and like this is what we're gonna do so you kind of tell me what to do but at the same time i like it because i control everything else in my life so i kind of like just showing up and like you already have this plan oh, that's so i'm not complaining also i think that's contagious whatever your symptom is where you're, i think i have that now too it's not contagious what is it it's just gerd it's i like have at, gerd i think now too it's not contagious i start doing that now too i'm like oh, that's <laughs> You guys, <laughs> that's so funny to me. Like, she cracks me up when she does stupid stuff like that. <laughs> like, I think I have it too. Oh, that's so annoying though. Can you imagine like everything you have and the person next to you is like, I have that. I have that. I have that. <laughs> it's so annoying. Can you imagine if you have something that you do and then, and you're kind of aware of it and then the person next to you starts doing the thing you're doing and now it's like you're seeing yourself through that person like is that how i look like okay he has gird okay fine but now he has to watch trisha mimic his gird like get out of my head <laughs> like really get out of my head <laughs> i don't know why you're doing that but it's not for me oh that sneeze like injured my throat is herpes contagious now why did she bring that up they were not even anywhere near that topic and she brought it up so, you know, this probably was around the time where Gabby was, you know, she went on the podcast and da 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 da. And then the rumor was brought up that she has that Gabby said she heard from. Turns out Shane Dawson is what she said that Trisha has that disease. I have a genuine question that I want to ask the general public. If somebody tells you that somebody has an STD, an incurable STD, it comes from a close friend of theirs, a source, and then you find out that a friend of yours is sleeping with them. Is it wrong of you to say, hey, just so you know, I've heard this, don't know if it's true, but this person told me, talk to them about it, ask about it. Is that fucked up? I'm just genuinely curious. This isn't like going around telling everybody, hey, I heard this person has an STD. This is, you know somebody you care about is sleeping with them and you say, did they talk to you about this? Don't know if it's true, this is what I heard. Just be careful, check it out. Here's where I'm coming from. If I was sleeping with somebody and one of my friends knew from a close source of that person that I had a, they had an incurable STD and they had that information and weren't like, hey, just be careful, check it out, talk to them about it, I'd be fucking livid. A another question, would you consider that like gossip and rumors to talk to the one person who it's about and be like, hey, check it out, ask them about it, have an adult conversation about it. Is that gossip or is that just like being a friend? All I'm saying is I've been being painted as a villain for two, a year, two years, I don't know how long, because I knew somebody was sleeping with someone who I wasn't close with her, I was close with him and I heard that she had an incurable STD. He told me he slept with her. I literally said, hey, this person I've heard has this incurable STD and if you're going to continue sleeping with her, ask her about it. Don't know if it's true. A close friend of hers told me, that's all I know. Be careful, 
keep an eye out use protection okay fine i don't feel sorry for trisha because trisha was going around back in the day talking about all the stds she has you know she she talks like that so i used to have sex with random guys all the time um and unprotected i just felt uncomfortable being in the industry i was in to say wear a condom um and so i just had lots of unprotected sex and uh I can't pinpoint one person who gave me diseases. I, I can't. And that's, I think, even what's worse about it all is that I, d I don't even know who to go to. And they always say when you find out you have an STD to contact the person you're with or the people you were with. But at the time, I was with so many and I, I, I didn't remember half of the people. I didn't remember their names, their faces, or their phone numbers. And I was just with so many that it was kind of impossible. And some, I didn't even have their contact information. And that's the scariest thing, I think, about STDs. Um, they just run rampant. People, some people may never know. Um, so if you do have something, whether it's temporary or permanent, it's very important to tell people you're with, anyone that I'm with now, I give them a full rundown of my sexual history, um, including my past jobs, including my past diseases, whether they're gone or not, um, just so they know and they're aware. So now when someone else comes out with it, it's going to be hard for her to try and backtrack that because she's said it before multiple times. And she says STD, so the people are going to like think that's what it is. So now she's bringing it up out of nowhere because that rumor is popped back up again. <laughs> no pun intended. And um, she's going to ask Ethan a dumb question. Like, come on, what kind of question is that? She just wants to bring up the topic to let everybody know she doesn't have it. Trisha, it's none of our business what you have or don't have. Take it up with the people that have been spreading rumors about you, if they are rumors. Take it up with them. We can't help you. You let the cat out of the bag, you go run after the cat and try to put the cat back in the bag and hopefully the cat does not scratch you. Uh, no, I don't think so. You get it from Brie. What? Did you really ask me that? I'm saying like, if you had it, could I get it or no? You would have to have sex. So it's skin to skin. Skin to skin. Everyone accused me of having herpes. I'm like, I don't even know how you get herpes. Like, Then you probably have it. <laughs> You probably do have herpes. But it's like itchy, you right? You get cold sores around your vagina? No. I've gotten a canker sore in my mouth once and I thought it was a herpes, but my doctor told me it wasn't. Canker sores are every, yeah. It's like a white little dot and I had it, I thought it was a herpes, but he said it's a canker. Oh, sore. I like seriously damaged my fucking throat. Yeah. Thank you, Ethan, for getting off of the topic because really, why are we here? Please, Trisha, take that up with your doctor. It's private information. We do not need to know about what you have and what you don't have, if you don't talk about it, nobody else will. But why do you consistently bring these things up onto YouTube? It wouldn't be our business if you didn't make it our business. And lucky for you, I don't want to make it my business, so we'll continue on. Can you next episode, like, not wear Teddy Fresh? Like, one episode? Sure. Okay. It's, like, so a lot. Okay. Like, what is that? Like, what is that? And I would say, too, if I had to add a fourth thing, her bothering him about Teddy Fresh would be another, but Ethan doesn't really have that big of a reaction to it. But she constantly ribs at him about Teddy Fresh and how many times he mentions it. She does that, but it doesn't bother him. He still does it, which is great. You know what it is? She was like, if Teddy Fresh is sponsoring this show, where's my cut? That's what she's kind of vying for. If you're always going to mention Teddy Fresh at the beginning of the show as if they're a sponsor, where is my cut? Because in their um, negotiations, he was saying that he's going to give her a cut of all sponsorship. They're going to split it, which is good. So she's saying, oh, if Teddy Fresh, she said it before, if Teddy Fresh is a sponsorship, the hitting meeting is, where's my cut? Trust me, that's what's going on here, in my opinion. Ready? What's this do? What's this to Merrick do? Right, Are you okay? No, yeah, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah. For real? I'm okay. Okay. It's happened before where I sneeze really hard and then it Too takes a minute to, to recover. Were you ever bulimic? No. That's so weird that she brought that up. Okay, to Merrick. Uh, this one comes from Julianne Hugh, which I, I don't know who she is. Huff. Hugh is that. Julianne Huff. 
That doesn't look like Huff. H O U G H. Yeah. That's Huff. Oh. Let me see a picture of her. Let me see this idiot. She's a Mormon. Look at these. These people are so dumb. Okay, why are here we Mormons go. always attractive? Like, why are they so pretty? Find type ugly Mormon. <laughs> There's not such a thing. Watch, I'll find you some ugly ass Mormons. Look at the Book of Mormon. I knew some ugly Ventura. Mormons growing up. Really? Yeah. In Ventura? Yeah. There's no Mormons in Ventura. There's an ugly. That's okay. from the Book of Mormon, <laughs> yeah. Dan. Yeah, that's right. like it's supposed Maybe to be. Maybe you're right. Maybe there's not. Well, if they're all beautiful. <laughs> so hold on, hold on. <laughs> if they're all beautiful, does that not indicate that the Mormons are right? Because God's like these people. They're the chosen ones. Yeah. I see plenty of ugly Jews. The Jews are traditionally unattractive. Traditionally, conventionally, I don't know. <laughs> Tumeric, Julianne Huff, dumbass. I've actually been trying turmeric. She told E. You would think it would be the opposite, and it'd stain your teeth, but it actually makes them whiter. Tumeric is the bomb. Y'all should try it. <clears throat> Although evidence of its teeth whitening properties is only anecdotal, studies do show that it brings oral health benefits that other natural remedies and other over-the-counter remedies don't. Um. Wait. So you eat this, or are you just putting out your teeth? <coughs> I think you just brush it. You're brushing with it. Yeah. But you're doing it with the strawberry. Why are you doing that? It's I want to get extra white. But that's, that's not the point of this. It's it's a little strawberry on there. It's not like gonna, okay, it's not gonna affect it that much. Gross. Awful. Can you see? Is it? Yeah. Ooh. Can you see it? I don't, I don't, eating I don't think this whitens. Bro, I take turmeric supplements and it turns my piss like Gatorade yellow. Oh, I'm saying that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a lot. You didn't like the Gatorade yellow piss anecdote? Do we eat it or do we just spit it I out? I think it's in a pill. Oh, no, you, you should eat it. Don't eat it? I mean, you could, but good luck putting that down. How do you it's get just it out? a spice. I'm going <laughs> to the bathroom. Go I'm going to the bathroom. No! I have to do it on camera? Okay, just eat it. It's fine. It doesn't taste that bad. Don't be a simp. <laughs> Did I use it right? Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's not bad. Honestly, just swallow it. It's actually not that bad. Yeah, you have a spit one. Yeah. Don't waste a good one. That's not bad. That's why we get the pizza after. It's like a reward. Oh! God. That's what my piss looks like. <laughs> You're so I nasty. Swear to God. I take turmeric supplements because it's good for like your digestion or some shit. I don't. A nutritionist told me to take it. And it turns my piss like radioactive yellow. It's crazy. Maybe that's not good for you. You should get it's just a spice for an episode. Do you want to go to my lip injection, Abs girl? No, no, no. They're temporary. And both How is it apps? temporary? They dissolve. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I hate that. I don't want it. Why do you want to inject my lips? You think my lips are inadequate? Just get some Botox. Like, be me for a day. Get some Botox. Get some lip injections. Get some glam. Go buy a $20,000 bag or something. You know what I mean? <sighs> I do. I'm not going to lie. I do think that's a funny idea. You should totally let my But life. I hate the idea of getting Botox. But at the same time, I do acknowledge that it's funny. So Botox I'm torn. would be, you know what? Botox is less invasive than lips because that really I'm not does getting go away filler. in six weeks. Not filler, okay. right? Get Botox then. Well, that You're talking is about filler. a physical filler? No, I'm not it doing that. It does dissolve, but I get you. Botox will like Botox, go away in like I feel two like... months. Oh my God. You should get them like right here so your eyebrows are like this. It'd be cool. Because <laughs> I think you look good. I have a really good girl. I'm really torn on this because I hate the idea, but it does sound funny. Get a twenty thousand dollar bag. Yeah. Get some Botox. That'd be so fun. Just a day out on the town together. Yeah, that's all great. Out. I would love it. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> what could have been? I mean, can you imagine Trisha and Ethan out on the town and Ethan all glammed up? Eyebrows all pointy, dressed to the nines, telling the world he's better than you without even opening up his mouth. Ooh. What could have been? Maybe post, well, we have to wait until the pandemic's over. Oh, to do something? Yeah, to go shopping and stuff. Their store's open now. I'm not doing it now. Okay. Shit. That made her mad. Uh, I could just see she just did not like it. She really wanted to stick him with some needles. <laughs> She's mad. Botox. I would have hated that I had uh, like powder sugar on my lips. And Thank you, baby. Now, 
she knew she had powdered donuts on her lips because there's a screen where she can see her face on. She says she loves looking at herself. She knew it was on, but she just likes the gag, right? Even bringing it up that she didn't like that it was, that's just part of the gag. She's just doing that because she's trying to be funny. And it was funny that she had like, uh, sh she had donuts all over her face. It was funny. Do I have anything on my lips this time? Yeah, you have a ton of turmeric. She can what, see what that she has turmeric on her lips. Well, well, I don't think those are ever, yeah, it didn't help at all. Yeah. All right, you guys, listen up. We have to listen to every word spoken, all right? I think you might need to get your pens and papers out. You got an iPad, you know, take your notes, because this is a doozy. Well, yeah, Ela, Ela was watching and she said, why didn't you tell her that she had powder on her lips? I was like... You see, he first brought up Ela. I, thought it was... I mean, I, I was staring at it the whole You're time. <laughs> so mean. But, but... On my screen, it just looked like a glint on your lip gloss. In the beginning, I said so you I have powder on your lips, but then you didn't get it all off. And the whole episode, I was just staring at Can we but... have Eli as a guest on our podcast? No. Okay. You see how quickly he said no? I mean, she barely just got out the sentence, and he was quick to say no. All right. Why? Because people think like I hate her or she doesn't like me or something. Like I feel like we need to have like, because like, you know what I mean? Like I like Ela so she much. She could sit in. Yeah, she could probably sit in. And then you see that. He did say no, but then he was like, you know what? Yeah, she can sit in. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? I thought about, I did say no, but I thought about it. And you know what? She can sit in. Now, even though at the beginning, when I first watched this, I was on Trisha's side. This is the thing that always stuck out to me. That was weird. You just said no. Now you're like. I was wondering, why did she point that out? How he said no and then said, y like, I would have been so happy to get that yes. And if it were me, I know we're different people. I would have got that yes. And if anything, I would have held him to that yes. Like, oh, you said yes on the podcast. You know what I mean? Because you got that yes out of him. But it was the way she went back and she was like, wait a second. You first said no. And now you said you're saying yes. Like, why did that stick out to her? She found something to argue about when there could have been nothing to argue about. And then, as we all know, it went downhill from here. I, yeah. Just a snap judgment. She's busy. Don't talk about Ela. We're cutting this part out. She doesn't want to be talked about. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> if it only could be so easy. You walked into it. Abort. 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 Are you fucking serious? I'm serious. We have to cut this. That's fucking crazy. Like, what's even? It looked like he was kind of like laughing a bit, but um. All right, let's let's see. Let's see how this goes down. You guys, tell me who's right. And the point, the one we talked about. Because she doesn't like that you're always bringing her up and saying how she, she doesn't like you and all this shit because it's not true and she finds it annoying because she doesn't want people to start thinking that like she doesn't actually like you. Well, she doesn't. Well, she doesn't. Well, you hear that? Trisha said, well, she does not like me. Trisha didn't say it at the beginning, but she says it now. Well, she doesn't like me. Well, whatever. Just cut it out, Dan. She, I'm serious. I'll talk about it in mine. I don't care because that's so bullshit. I'm going to yeah. stop talking about my personal life altogether then, too. Okay, whatever. You hear that? She's going to stop talking about her personal life altogether, too. Now, these are the things that bother Trisha. When talk comes up about her and Moses, and she's not giving the narrative... That she does not like. She wants to form the narrative about her and Moses. And if you want to bother Trisha, you form your own narrative and have it disagree with what she thinks. Now, obviously, it's her life. It's Moses' life. They would know their life story better than anyone else. Yet, when Ethan finds things in their story that doesn't add up and he mentions it, it is a problem and will always be a problem. And it's a problem she will never forget. And another thing to mention is she can bring up misinformation or whatever nonsense she wants to bring up about Moses. She can bury Moses on the podcast without a care and you better not stop her. She can do all of that. But don't you dare do it about their relationship. Don't bring it to the public eye. So that's the number one thing that bothers her. And the number two thing I almost forgot is when you bring up a contradiction. 
when you show her right on the spot one thing she said and another thing she said and how it differs she hates when you bring that up in front of her for her to explain herself she does not like that she'll talk her way in circles around it and she'll continue to do it but she does not like when you force her to speak about her contradictions not until she can form an answer in her head. She doesn't want to be brought up on the spot about it. Those are the two things that irks her. And if I'm forgetting something, you let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to turn the H3 podcast and boring and I'll just go down the tubes and no one will care because you guys are not honest and open about shit. So. <laughs> Boom. You see, she brought up the money. She brought up the H3 podcast low ratings at the time. Those are her two one-two punches for Ethan. <laughs> Ethan, what you got? You don't want her to give you the knockout punch. You cut everything out that's personal. It's like, whatever. See, this is the thing. Even in the last episode and episodes prior, there are certain things that they cut out. Oh, you can't even, like, mention her? We mentioned her last episode. Because you every okay, you know what? Leave it in. No. Every time no, don't. you I go, don't care. why does Ela hate me? And she's like, I don't hate her. It's super annoying. Why does she keep saying that? Here's the thing too. When he says Ela doesn't like when you say, why does Ela hate me? This was the first time she brought up that Ela hates her. As far as I know, through the previous podcasts, unless she did it on her YouTube account or on Twitter, or whatever, I didn't see it on the earlier podcast. Anything before number thirteen, I didn't hear her say ever say that Ela doesn't like her. Ethan always jumbles stuff up in his head. So um, when he said that too, you know, Ela doesn't like when you bring up that I don't like her. I don't think, again, this is my point of view. I don't necessarily think that that's exactly how Ela communicated it to Ethan. I think she said it a different way as in, and they're going to kind of say it later on, that Ela must have told Ethan, I don't like when you guys talk about my family and what's going on between her family. You know, that's not on camera. That's what I think Ela had an issue with, to do with her family, but let's go. And, and why it's does causing she text me? Like, just text, text me. you. Be like, hey, I don't hate you, you know what I mean? And I was on Trisha's side. Like, yeah, why didn't Ela text her and tell her that she does not like her? Yeah, Ela should text her. All right, let's see what happens next. Like, but when she's like telling stuff about Moses. Because I always I say. Like, I Did you hear that? Don't worry, we'll get back to it. Yeah, we should cut this. Let's just move on. No. Ethan wanted to cut it, but she's keeping it going. All right. But like in general, like I'm just I'm telling you now, like she needs to text me and just be like, hey, I don't hate you, you know? But it's like she's telling Moses like, oh, Trisha says this I think, and that. It, okay, like, this is all off the record. But I think she's just really annoyed by the situation and she just needs some time. What's the situation that I said? Not anything, anything to do with you, with Moses. What'd he do? He like is always... Honestly, it has nothing to do with you. Okay, so... And I don't want to get in the middle of it. Boom! Perfect, Ethan. Ethan sees it is an issue between a brother and a sister. And he's like, you know what? I don't want to have anything to do with it. You know, like, maybe my wife wants to vent to me and I'll listen and whatever, whatever. But you know what? At the end of the day, those are two siblings and it's none of my business. So let me step out. Meanwhile, Trisha is on the other side. It's the same thing. She sees two siblings arguing. And instead of taking Ethan's heed and stepping out of it, she want to be all up in the mix. All right. But this is what happens. Okay. So now watching it back and knowing everything, she really wants to be all up in the mix. Why? What's going on here? Why can't you see yourself out? So but why it's did between it, him and her. But she literally brought me up because I was like, we were watching TikTok and I saw the thing being like at 1 a.m. in the morning. She was like, what are you telling Trisha? Like, why is she saying this stuff on the podcast? Like all this stuff. Oh, and like, what do you mean Ela brought you up? Literally. That's odd. Yeah, because you, well, okay, she was irritated because you were like, I'm not inviting mom. And she was like, dude, why? Like, my mom doesn't need to see that. Oh and I know. God. But yeah, that's the real reason why Ela is mad. She's mad that they're talking about wedding stuff and Moses saying he's not close to the family. And all the other times that there was cuts in the podcast, I'm not saying all the times, but a lot of it, it had to do with Trisha repeatedly saying things about Moses and Ela's mother not coming to the wedding or Moses not being close. Now they kept some of the stuff about Moses not being close to the family, but apparently there was other things that she said about Moses not being close to the family that were cut out, which I've showed before. Then she's, but it's like, Moses, why are you telling her 
that you're not close to us and that you're not close to your mom and you're not inviting your mom but to you the wedding. Talk- and here again, Ethan is explaining, Ela is upset at Moses. As in, why are you Moses telling Trisha you're not inviting our mom to the wedding? That's what the problem is. The problem is Moses, which is fine, but is the brother and sister hashing it out, which is normal family business, you know? A brother and sister arguing? Yeah, I'm not going to get into that. Let them work that out. None of my business. I don't know what to do because you're having like a moment. I'm not. I'm like, honestly, I can just move on from it. But like, I just hate people who think they're just too fucking good for shit. It's not she's you too good. Fucking, she has a fucking podcast. When you have a podcast, you're talked about. Your life's talked about. You guys talked about Moses and Dude, me. you well before we did this she, podcast. You guys talked about us. Never once asked me anything. No, it's because you always make the you same comment about her. 